to get paid to trade. I want to get paid to make some money on. See, when I say that, you guys are probably thinking I'm talking about probably getting your investor's license so you can start trading and working for someone. No. I'm talking about how can you get paid to trade in your own trading account. So let's talk about it. The sweet spot. Wait, we need to turn that music down a little bit so I can get them to focus. All right. So the last video we talked about long options and a quick review. Remember there's two types of long options. You got the long call and you got the long put. The long call is the bearish, the bullish position and the long put is the bearish position typically used to hedge. So short options, this is just the opposite. But then there's another sweet spot, but you got to keep watching to find out the real reason why we love short options. But let me first write them out here. So you have a short call again. and you have a short put. So remember, the long call is a bullish position. I believe that this trade is going to, the underlying is going to go up. Short call is the opposite. I am being bearish in this case. So I believe that the underlying is going to go down and you can already guess what short put is. It's the opposite of a long put. So this one is saying that I believe that a trade is going to go up. And this one is typically used for speculatory reasons, especially when we're talking about investment firms and hedge funds. Now, why is short options so sweet? Why do we like it so much? It's because we are getting paid to trade literally. We are collecting premium instead of paying premium outright. Bam! Forex traders, have you ever heard something like that? Now, I also want to mention the fact that a lot of people sometimes get options trading confused for binary options. This is the key component that, that tells you the difference between options trading and binary options. In this case, what you're doing is you can either buy premium, which is when we're saying you are purchasing it with long options, and then with short options, you can collect premium. So I am literally collecting money on a direction. Why is this so sweet? Well, I mean, where else can you do this? <laughs> where else can I say, hey, I'll collect $500 and I believe this is gonna go up or it's gonna go down. It's not, it doesn't exist in any, un in any other type of trading that is available for the retail trader right now. So that's the reason why we like short options so much. And the next video that we're gonna talk about is actually gonna be about how you can combine short options with long options, but I know I'm getting ahead of myself. So let me tell you a little bit more about short options. So you already know that you're collecting premium. Now, the one thing that a lot of people would probably consider a negative with short options is the fact that your loss potential your loss potential is unlimited. Now I know what you guys are already thinking watching this video, whoa, <laughs> I can potentially lose unlimited? I thought you said options trading wasn't risky, Samantha. Well, first of all, I never said that because options trading does come with risk. It's just that you just have to be educated and know what you're doing with the different options. You just gotta put some time into it and then you get something out of it. So short options, the one thing that a lot of people talk about is that the loss potential is unlimited. So that can scare people away. But there's strategies in how you are able to cap that um, limited, the unlimited loss to a limited loss. Now one reason why we love short options is because there's a two-third chance of you being profitable with short options versus long options. And the reason being is because you are not affected by time. So remember, with options contracts period, you have an expiration date. So there's a time period in which you have to be correct. So let's say for example, I have NQ, right? I got the NASDAQ, this is a ticker symbol. If you don't know what this is, make sure to watch that video that I have on the options contract. So you have NQ, let's say for example, is trading at 235 we'll say that this is our strike price okay so that's our strike price there and if we wanted to do a short position for example and I want to do a short put let's say I'm gonna do a short put a short put is basically me saying that I believe that the Nasdaq is going to trade above 235 um, by the time of expiration now here's the thing about short puts let's say for example the premium that I collect in this case, let's say it's $500. Let's say it's $500, right? For one options contract. 
that is the max that I could make in this case. And I could potentially lose unlimited. But here's the thing about it. Let's say for the NAS let's say for example, it's a very flat day for the NASDAQ and it stays at 235. Because I'm doing a short position, I can still make profit. That's the two-thirds of when we're talking about short options. You can make profit if the underlying stays flat, and you can also make profit if it actually goes in your direction. When you talk about long options, you can only make money if it goes in your direction. So if we were doing, instead of a short put, a, sh a long call, for example, because that's still a bullish position, you would be losing money on this trade if it stayed at 235. That's the reason why we like short options, because we know that there are underlines that do what? They range. They flow with the motion, the energy in motion. That's, that's what they do. They don't necessarily take a direction, especially when you're talking about looking at charts on an intraday level and a day trading level. So because of that reason, we like to mix it up. We like to mix up the pot a little bit. Use long options here, lose short options here when we're trying to probably construct a strategy on a particular trade. So. Just want to go over this again because I know this is a lot of information. Remember, you got these two right here. A short call, it's a bearish position. Whatever you collect, that is the max that you can make. But you can potentially lose unlimited. Short put, that's just the opposite. That is a bullish position where you can collect premium, max you can make, possible loss potential is unlimited. Now, if you're still a little bit confused about short options, I got a special treat for you. I got another example. It's called life insurance. <laughs> life insurance, they make their money off of short options. Why do I say that? Well, how do life insurance companies make their money? They're selling all of these life insurance policies to people, betting on whether or not they're going to die. So let's say, for example, um, I have 50 people who buy life insurance policies from me, right? I am collecting premium from them every month. $200 here, it's $500 from this person. And how I make my money is that that person actually outlives their policy if they don't die. Well, how do I know whether or not that's actually going to be profitable? All I have to do is max the amount of people that I have buying policies. That's how life insurance companies make their money. The more policies they can sell, the more they hedge their risk. Because if I have more people buying life insurance policies, then the chances of that person actually dying goes down. There's actually a lot of option strategies that talk about um, just using short options, for example, weeklies. I'm gonna have a video on weekly options. Um, and they talk about how you can use short options if you trade often, but small, you can make profit. And it's because you start to, you start to fall into this, this normal distribution curve with your trades. It's really cool. Um, I would say that I like to mix it up a bit. I don't simply trade small trade often. I like to do a lot more directional plays where I'm mixing in short options and long options to not only hedge my risk, but then also have some sort of unlimited profit potential to the upside or to the downside, depending on what I'm trading. So that's the basics to short options. Um, I would say that you probably want to watch this video again and also watch the long options video to make sure that you have these fundamentals down pat because these four building blocks are literally the building blocks to options trading. And the next video we're going to talk about options price and options premium. So make sure you subscribe with your girl. Go ahead and subscribe to Talking Options. Of course, we have all of the latest information available for you every week when we talk in options. So until next time, guys, make sure you talk your options.